sometimes it's you. Yo, what's going on guys? Lekker here and I'm back with another video. Now, this is something that's been on my mind recently and I just thought, yeah, why don't I just talk about it? Um, it's more of a, not a massive rant, but just a quick rant. So now, obviously, I'm a Christian for those of you that don't know. Um, yeah, I just realised that a lot of people blame the devil for things that go on in their lives, mostly bad things, and it's like, stop blaming the devil for everything bad that happens in your life. Like, seriously, because it's not good because you'll get so used to doing that that you'll, you'll be your, you know, your scapegoat sort of thing. You know what, let me just blame the devil because obviously everything bad that's happened in my life, you know, obviously the... the, the Obviously the, 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 the devil can tempt you to do bad things or have an influence on your decision making but he cannot like physically you know crap he cannot physically make you do a bad thing like everything bad that happens in your life has happened for a reason some of it may be down to the devil let me not lie but every single bad thing ah, come on let's let's be real now but um yeah some bad things even happen because Obviously God is a loving God, but some bad things happen because of him, as in he's trying to, you know, send you a message, he's trying to prevent you from being hurt. That I means some bad things that have happened to me, that's maybe the person that I am today. So, just, yeah, stop blaming the devil for every single thing. Sometimes I own up and take responsibility. Stop being naive to the fact that you've done something, but you're going to try, you know what, nah, and let me just blame, let me just blame the devil because, you know, He's bad. More time the devil might not even be interested in your life. Like, obviously he's trying to recruit people, he's trying to tempt people and everything. But more time he might not be even interested in your life. And then you just go and blame him. Blame him like, yeah, we can't blame him for everything. Like, sometimes it's you. Sometimes think to yourself, rah, is it me? Am I doing something wrong? Can I go about this a different way? Like, stop blaming the devil for everything bad that happens to you. Because... More time it might even be yourself and you just don't realise it. And it's like I mentioned before, the devil cannot make you sin. I mean, he can tempt you, but literally make you to sin? Nah, sometimes you just need to take responsibility and say, and say yeah, it was me. I own up to that. I'm going to try and do this a different way or whatever. But, um, nah, seriously, yeah, guys, stop blaming the devil because more time it might be you and you don't even realise. Or you have no one to tell you. No, but guys, if you're obviously a subscriber and everything, new, old, show your parents this as well because sometimes even our parents can blame the devil for everything that happens and more time it's them. But um, yeah, that's all that, That's all I really wanted to say. Um, for those of you that have noticed or haven't noticed, I don't know if you have noticed, but um, I did have a video, a football video, and it was a football video of my church, Olders versus the Youth. And I'm not going to go into full details, but I had to take it down for certain reasons. I realise just because something is not deep to me does not mean it's not deep to someone else. So again, I'm not going to go into full detail, but for certain reasons it had to be taken down. I apologise if you didn't get to see it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.